What's going on and welcome back to another Luma Fusion tutorial. I'm RobHK and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can download from Google Drive over to Luma Fusion. And there has been a lot of questions about this since we have the 750 transition preset pack for Luma Fusion on a massive sale on Selfie. Go check it out if you want to get it now before the sale ends. There is has been some questions about that package and how you can get those presets over to Luma Fusion and there has been some issues with some people uh, experiencing that there's nothing in the folders but I'm gonna go through every single step of that in this video and what I really want you to do if you have issues with downloading from a Google Drive is to watch the entire video I go through every single step so it's really important that you watch the entire video and I'm showing you how you use the kinetic typography as well and we're gonna import transition we're gonna import overlay a uh, project file and I believe uh, that's the uh, most uh, crucial things that we will go through in this uh, uh, this tutorial so make sure you watch the entire video if you have any issues downloading from a Google Drive and another thing I want to mention before we jump over is that we're going to apply a mass import to these files as well so within two days you will be able to mass import some uh, zip files from a Google uh, Drive so the only thing that you basically do is to follow the previous video that I uploaded on how to import from uh, Selfie because in that video I cover how you import zip files and open them using files folder and then mass importing them into LumaFusion so that's basically how you import zip files into LumaFusion so once you see zip files inside the Google Drive folder the only thing you do is to tap on the three dots and then you open in or you copy to I believe it's copy to so tap on the three dots on the zip file inside Google Drive copy to files folder and then you can go and watch the other video which I uploaded yesterday and you can follow the process there on how you uh, must import these uh, presets and effects over to uh, LumaFusion so without further ado let's jump over to the iPad LumaFusion Google Drive and I'm going to go through the steps on how you use this pack and how you get them over to uh, LumaFusion so after you made a purchase of the 750 plus preset pack which you can find on Selfie you will be directed to the uh, Google Drive app or the uh, Google Drive folder on uh, on your web browser I highly recommend that you get the um, a Google Drive app because it makes it a lot easier for you to apply the presets in the future so here you can see that we have the folder and we're gonna tap on the folder so let's start by applying some transitions you can see the transitions here so we're gonna tap on this folder and here you can see all the transitions which is included in the, uh, the base transition pack and um, other than the monthly updates these are the first transitions that you will get there is a lot of things under the monthly updates as well as you can see we have all the way from January to 2019 special and once you tap on any of the monthly folders there might be cases where there's nothing there so the only thing you have to do is to simply just tap and drag down to refresh the site so once you refresh the folder everything will be loaded into the Google Drive app and you will be good to go so now to import these over to LumaFusion there is only one simple way and for now you have to do this one by one but within two days you will be able to download every single thing here as a mass import because every single thing will be a zip file uh, so we can go over to LumaFusion and we can double tap on this clip right here we're gonna go over to the star which is on the top right corner and you can see that we have zero effects here so we have nothing imported to LumaFusion yet so the next thing we're gonna do is to go back to the uh, uh, Google Drive folders and we're gonna tap on transitions and here you can see the three dots you see the three dots on every single transition here and you can either tap on those and then open in or you can tap on the effect and you will get file not supported so the reason for this showing is simply because that the iPad does not support a preview of this file the file is still there but it does not support a preview so once you tapped on the file you can tap on the three dots here or you can tap on the three dots here outside I recommend that you tap on the three dots outside here because it's easier to maintain what you have imported and not 
so we're gonna start from the top left corner and this is 20 frames pan down out so we're gonna tap on the three dots and we're simply gonna tap on open in once we tap on open in it will download the preset to your um, uh, ipad and uh, we're gonna go over to copy to LumaFusion. Then we're gonna copy to LumaFusion. LumaFusion will open directly and you can see that we now have imported this preset. So it's really easy to import from Google Drive and this is exactly what you do with the other presets as well. So now we can move over to, uh, let's say some um, monthly updates and we can go to uh, some, we can go to the January folder and wait for it to load and here you can see that we have subscribe buttons as well and we have some lower thirds so let's download this uh, subscribe button here uh, we're gonna tap on this one more time tap on the three dots here and then open in it will download and then choose copy to LumaFusion once you copy that to LumaFusion you can go out to your timeline and you will see if you not have this open or if it doesn't open automatically, you will have to go to the source on the top left corner, then go to imported and this will be under the other app. So this is downloaded from Google Drive. So it will either show up in other app folder or drive folder or Google Drive folder. It all depends, but LumaFusion will create a new folder if you don't have any folders in there already. And uh, make sure to check the folders, the Google Drive folder, the drive folder and the other app folder to see if your preset is in any of those folders. So here you can see that we have the subscribe button, so we can drag that down to our timeline and you can see that we have the animated subscribe button right here. So now moving over to download something else, let's do the kinetic typography. Kinetic typography is a, a known project file, so it will open in a different project. So what we're going to do is to tap on the three dots again, open in, it will download, and then we're going to copy it to LumaFusion. Now you can see LumaFusion open up a new project, which is here. And you can see that you have the kinetic typography. And the only thing you have to do is to change the text and then render this at maximum quality. And once the render is complete, we can do a fast render here so you can see the example. So we're going to do a fast render of this. And once the render is complete, we can go to our videos. And you will see that it will be listed on the top section here on the left side. So now let's go back to the uh, previous project, this one. And we can now take the kinetic typography and drag down to our timeline. And you will see that we have the kinetic typography applied to our project. But we still need to remove the background here, which is black. So what we're going to do is to go into edit on this file. We're going to go to the keyhole and choose ocean key take the hue range to maximum and you can adjust the uh, saturation range and also the brightness hue uh, brightness range and and so on to make this uh, um, to your likings just tweak the settings until you find the perfect settings for your scenery so now we can do a playback and you will see that we have the kinetic typography applied to our project So let's do another import and this time we're going to import some, uh, let's find some overlays. So here we have some glitch overlays and this is basically the same principle. We're going to tap on the three dots and open in and then it will download and we're going to choose copy to LumaFusion. LumaFusion will open directly and you can see that the glitch overlay got imported into the other app as well. So we can take this drag over to our timeline and we have the glitch effect here, the glitch overlay. And again, we can apply some um, chroma keying to this to make the background visible. So again, keyhole, ocean key, Q range to maximum, go back to our timeline and we can do a playback to see how this looks. So there you have one of the many glitch overlays that you can find here and also inside the monthly update packs and 
you have some different effects here and there and there's a lot of different things here inside this package and as i mentioned in the beginning of this video within two days you will be able to mass import everything here and import zip files to your files folder for then to extract them there and mass import them into LumaFusion. And if you want to know how you do that, you can watch the previous video I uploaded, which is how to download on iOS 13. So with that said, I really hope that you understood now how easy it is to actually get things over to LumaFusion using the Google Drive app. Uh, it's really a, a short process. It's just by about tapping those things and it will import directly into LumaFusion. So with that said, if you found this video helpful, make sure to click that subscribe button. It's really appreciated. Give this video a big thumbs up and share it with as many as possible because this is really important for people to understand how to import videos and presets from Google Drive over to LumaFusion. And we also have this massive sale on Selfie, so make sure that you go on Selfie and check out all the huge, super awesome sales that we have running now. And also make sure to check out Patreon because we only have a few spots left. So if you want to join in on the uh, uh, LumaFusion Masterclass and get some, I believe, 19 free lower thirds uh, social media icons like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat maybe? I don't, maybe I, I, don't, I don't remember if it's snapshot in there, but make sure to uh, check out the Aluma Fusion Masterclass course if you want some of these, uh, these effects for free or these overlays for or these lower thirds for free as well. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.